Hello friends, for today's video I wanted to compare some US book covers to UK book covers. And if you just want to jump right to the comparison portion of this video, I'll have a timestamp, but I actually wanted to give you all a heads up about some information regarding the style of video. So if you don't care about that, you can go ahead and skip ahead. But what I've decided I would like to do is I would like to have this style of video go up roughly once a quarter. A lot of you know that I really enjoy doing new releases wrap-ups, one because I like reading the books that I hear about and I think sound really interesting, but I also really like providing helpful information to all of you. I think that a lot of people, books are expensive and they only have so much money to dedicate toward books or they only have so much time to dedicate toward books. So when they are looking at new releases, they want to make sure that they're getting into something that they will likely enjoy. And so new releases wrap-ups I find to be hopefully really helpful to all of you because then you can determine based off of the information that I'm giving, hopefully anyway, you can determine if a book sounds like it's up your alley or not. And then on top of that, I wanted to start doing this US versus UK style book covers specifically for new releases each quarter so that if you decide, maybe you check something out from the library, you really like it and you decide, okay, I'm gonna purchase this or maybe you are somebody who likes having multiple editions, but you didn't even realize that there was another edition out there. I figured this will help you see the different covers that are out. And then you can make the decision for yourself. You can decide, oh, I like the UK one way more. So I'm glad I saw this. So now I can get that one instead, or you can get both, <laughs> whatever fits your fancy, or maybe the US, because sometimes they're better. Not very often, but sometimes US covers are better. So anyway, I plan to do this roughly once a quarter. So anyway, all of that said, let's jump into it. I just wanted to give that heads up. So if you're like, these all seem really new, then you know why I'm talking about new ones specifically. I'm gonna go ahead and start with what has gotta be one of the prettiest, both the US and the UK. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we are getting spoiled with some of these covers. Eh, they're, it's just, they're, they're so pretty. I don't know if you're like me, I promise I'm gonna get to this in a second. I'm rambling so much. I don't know if you're like me, where you make disgusted noises over things that are great. So that might occur a fair amount in this video, but Song of Silver, Flame Like Night. What the heck? These covers are gorgeous. Both of them are gorgeous. So I did end up getting both of these editions. I mean, I really liked the book. So I was happy to have more than one edition because I often really like getting multiple editions of my favorite books. But Song of Silver, Flame Like Night, I, if you want to play, play along, I guess, in deciding whether you like the US or the UK more, I would love to see your answers. But man, the, the US might beat the UK for once. This cover is just absolutely breathtaking. I love the colors that are used. I like the font that's used. I like the color combination. I, everything about this cover, when I saw it, I was like, <laughs> I don't even care what that book's about. I'm interested already. And that's a compliment to the cover artist. I think I I know a lot of bookworms will say, oh, it's about what's on the inside and don't judge a book by its cover. And of course, I'm not gonna just like a book because of the cover, but cover artists put a lot of effort into creating beautiful artwork. And so I don't mind fangirling whenever I think the artwork is beautiful. And I think this artwork is beautiful. And then there's the UK cover and it's also really pretty. It's, <laughs> this is one where, ugh, it's just, it's, I'm just, I'm looking down cause I have them <laughs> on my phone. It's gorgeous. I do think that the UK one captures some of the myth in the story really well by having the different beings, the different animals with the perimeter of it. And then it just, it has pretty font also. I love, I, I love both of these covers. I'm not forming very coherent thoughts right now, aside from just appreciation. The US one is as devastatingly gorgeous in regards to the book itself, but you can apply that to the cover too. So pretty. If I had to pick, ah, if I had to pick, I think maybe US wins on this one, but barely. And maybe I would change my mind on a different day <laughs> because both are just gorgeous. Next up, we have Tress of the Emerald Sea. Obviously, this one had 
a special edition through the Kickstarter, but I'm not going to be looking at any special editions for this video. So these are, this is the UK and US covers. The UK cover for me is a little disappointing. It does have, the thing that it has going for it is that it goes along with the art style that the rest of the Sanderson UK editions have. So on the shelf, there is that sense of consistency, which I can see being very appealing. And it does have that extra factor that I could see tipping it over the edge for some people. But just as far as looking at these in isolation, I think that the US one is better. I like the font, the tress, it has a very magical looking font with that. I think that the colors used are very pretty. I do agree that the tress of the emerald sea, it's kind of interesting because the sea portion seems like a little less of an emerald color, <laughs> but that doesn't really bother me too much. I, I like the colors that are used. I like how bold that yellow is in the middle. I think that's an interesting choice, but the contrast is really nice. There is one thing that I cannot unsee that my husband pointed out, and now I just, that's all I see. So in both covers, you see Tress holding a cup, and that's a big thing in the book. Tress likes cups, and I don't want to elaborate on that too much, but I do like that detail in the cover. However, my husband pointed out <laughs> that the cup, at first glance, looks like a smartphone. It looks like the glow of a phone screen. And even the way she's holding it, it looks like she's showing you, look at my phone, and there's just a glare or something, or the brightness is turned up too high or something like that. And I can't unsee it, but I still think that if we're comparing <laughs> minus that, if we compare these two covers, I think that the, uh, the US wins, surprisingly, once again. So, so far, two nothing, UK. I don't think I can decide for the next one, though. The next one would be <laughs> Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies. I think both of these covers are beautiful. I love the emphasis on the mushrooms. Uh, on the UK one, they're, they're so giant. And mushrooms are in. Am I the only one that's noticed? I get that this, there's also the Last of Us, I know. There's that factor too. But I mean, even before that, mushroom decor is a thing now. I saw a really cute cookie jar that had um, the top of it was like the, the bigger part of the mushroom. What is that called? I'm looking really dumb right now. Anyway, I've seen a lot of kitchen decor that is mushroom-like. And then because it's springtime where I live, lots of mushroom stuff. I don't know why mushrooms are so in right now. Anyway, I like them in this context. I like them in general, unless they're on something that they shouldn't be on. But I mean, in the art, <laughs> artistic form, I like them. The US one, it looks kind of Christmassy. Am I the only one that thinks it looks a little Christmassy? It's still gorgeous. And I can say, because I do own both of these, that the US one, if you did not know, is printed right on the naked hardback. And I know a bunch of us love that. So that has the extra bonus there. As far as just cover art goes though, I might have to give it to UK. They're both so pretty. I don't know. They're both great. I like both of them. I, you know, the US one has the encyclopedia, the more academic look to it, certainly over the UK one. So I don't know. This one I flip-flop. I don't think I can pick on this one. I, I do like both of those. Now, switching gears a little bit because this is more of a horror story, we have A House with Good Bones. And you know, I'm giving it to the US again. So A House with Good Bones, I don't think at the time that I'm filming this, I've had the chance to talk about this book. It's It was quite enjoyable. It is horror, but it's also very funny and very cheeky. The main character, their voice, and the way that T. Kingfisher captures Southern hospitality and the general feel of being in this sort of rural small town. It is very entertaining and it is very funny. So I kind of think that the US one is just more fitting because it has that lightness to it, but by having the silhouette of the shadow of the vulture, it captures that there's something lurking beneath the surface. There's something more ominous going on. Where I think that the UK one is just, ooh, look, scary vibes. But I don't think it's all that specific, in my opinion, to the book. Also, the wallpaper and everything. I just think it, the US one captured 
I, I think it captured the tone of the story very, very well. So I have to give it to US on that one. Especially too, I'll add that the US one, it just has some originality to it. It doesn't look like a lot of other covers. I will have another video, again, I don't know if this will go up first or if my other covers video will go up first, but I'll have another covers video going up where I talk about covers that look very, very similar and, and trends that you see in covers. And this does not fit into any trends as far as, as I can tell. So I really like the unique factor of the US one. UK one, just a little bit more generic. I like the color choices, but I don't think it stands out that much. Next up we have City of Nightmares, which that cover of the US one definitely captures how weird the book is. <laughs> uh, I mean, the fact that you have a skeleton looking so fancy on the bottom and then you have um, the interesting lizard creature on the top. Uh, the spider web also is a great detail and then having the edges be the buildings. So I definitely think it represents the book very well. What I like about, I, I like the look of the UK one quite a bit. I like the pterodactyl flying. So it captures the city much more. I think the US one wins in its color choice department as far as originality goes. I don't really see that red orange, quite that orange color with those greens, quite like the shades that you're seeing in the UK because that warmer red with a hint of orange with a more teal color, it is, uh, I've seen that color pattern before for the wolf as an example of that. So I've seen this color pattern before. I like both these covers. Once again, I don't know if I can choose because I think they're both interesting. I think that the US one is once again, a little more original. And I think that it, it I mean, both of them capture quite well. I like both. I don't know. I think at first glance, I might pick the UK, but I don't know if I can choose on that one. Next up, I don't know if I can choose on this one either. These are both great covers. We have The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi. I, at first glance, was like, oh, I like the UK one. I like the way that you have the map captured, the, the globe, the way you have that captured, but kind of subtly, I think it captures that navigation aspect to this because it's an adventure story, it's a seafaring story. And I think that the look in general, it's it captures the, the setting very well. And I like the waves and you have the different animals around that are picking at pieces from the book. So it's beautiful and it's unique and it stands out and it captures the book well. But the seafaring aspect of the story, which is a big part of the story, it's especially a big part of the character's motivations. The sea really calls to her, her ship calls to her, being a captain really calls to her. And so to have the ship so front and center, but the dangers of their adventures being captured by having this giant beast from beneath, I think it's really cool. And I think the colors are interesting. So I don't know, man, I think both of these are fantastic. And usually it's easier to pick for me. I don't know, I'm pretty indecisive. <laughs> I can't even decide if deciding. So that should clue in how much I have a hard time picking. But I think usually I go, oh, well, you know, UK like a lot of us do, but I can't this time. So many of them, both are great. The next one, I don't really care for either. And that would be the Spice Road. Um, the UK one has the setting better because it does have this desert setting. And a lot of the story is this trek across the desert. I think that the font style and the border around the main image all of the all of that captures the setting better in my opinion than the US one. The US one looks um it it looks a little generic. So I don't think either of these are exceptional, but I do think that one of them represents the book better than the other. I don't really have too much else to say. They look very different from each other. Um and then last we have the last tale of the Flower Bride. I'm not usually a fan of right up in your face kinds of covers. And I also think that having the 
pretty person on the cover with the flowers, but a spooky vibe is very in right now. So this time the US one is guilty of falling within the typical trend. However, I, I think the way that it's the flowers are in her hair and that kind of, you don't really get her full face. It's not like they're in her eyes because that's a big thing now is the, the horror covers that have the flowers in people's eyes or coming out of their faces. Uh, so it's not quite that. But it, it definitely draws you in. It's definitely very mysterious. So I think that factor is there wonderfully. The UK one, how many of you realize that those are like a woman's face? Did you notice that? It's just a bunch of a woman's face. <laughs> so I think that's um, interesting. The keys definitely speak to the house being a role in the story and there being these doors and opened and these tales to learn more about. So I think that both are great as far as representing the story. I actually might think that the US one represents the story better and that the UK one, aside from the fact that once you really look, it's a, it's a lady's face. Despite that, I think that the, the general look of the UK one at first glance looks like a lot of other UK covers. So I, the UK one for me, I think I like more but I think that the US one captures better. I got mine in a book box, so I didn't have to decide. <laughs> uh, but then I saw that Lichoy Crate had an edition for, with the American cover, but if you take the sleeve off, I know I said I wasn't gonna talk about special editions, but just letting you know, if you take the sleeve off, oh my gosh, the naked hardback is so pretty and the details in the book are beautiful. So I do have um, both editions for this one. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for some US versus UK for first quarter of the year releases. I'd love to know your thoughts on these. Were you as indecisive as me? Were you kind of shaking your fist like, how? How do you think that that one's on par with the other one? I would love to know what your thoughts are on these covers. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you later. Bye.